The last program we completed in JavaScript, we did this opening and closing menu. And it worked. And it wasn't too bad to code. But you can see it was it it was a little bit involved, not horrible, a little involved. We can do something in jQuery that works better because it has an animated effect that we can control the speed on and is significantly faster and easier to develop. We use jQuery for the same reason that we would use Bootstrap, Material Design Lite, Foundation, or any other well-designed library of code or template. jQuery is a library of JavaScript code that can help you develop faster. It's easier to use in JavaScript, but you should know JavaScript before you try to learn jQuery, which is why we did eight weeks of JavaScript first. Now you'll notice I'm using Dreamweaver. I am in the beta version of 2017 because it does enable me to use SAS, the preprocessor. So if you go out and look at my code, you won't see exactly what I have on my screen, perhaps, because I'm using variables and some other things to make my code a little easier to write, and it then translates into the CSS that you'd see and automatically puts in the correct code. So just be aware that I'm doing that. We aren't really focused on the CSS in this, though there are a few things that you have to have in the CSS for it to work properly. Let's take a look. I'm going to start with my HTML, and in this case I have put my code for jQuery right in the top of my HTML document. So it's pretty standard. I'm using the W3Schools library for my CSS styling, and then I'm overriding things with style.css. This is going to become really important for a couple of things. So I have this script source that I'm linking to for Google's version of jQuery. And so if you are looking at the jQuery home, uh, get started. The link that you need from one of the content develop, um, delivery networks is either the Google or the Microsoft one. I don't care what you use. I chose to use this one and I just copied and pasted that into the head section of my code. And that's right here. And W3Schools is where I got it. So if you're watching this video a little after I created it, you might see that the version number could change. And then I have my script where I'm actually using the jQuery. So to make sure that it's loaded completely before we start, we use the document.ready function. And all of our code will go in here or be called within here so that we make sure that the everything that is needed is loaded before it starts to do anything. I'll come back to the specific commands in a minute. When we're setting up, I have a main class, which is my container. I've got set to constrain. As you know, if you watch my videos a lot, I like to add the constrain function. So I set a maximum width. I set a margin to center it. I put in a border radius and some other various things. And that's what is giving me this green container with slightly rounded edges and an orange border. That's all done with my constraint. Inside the main class, I have heading one, why learn jQuery, that doesn't do anything. Then I have, and it's very important to have IDs to, to grab and control the information here. So I've got detail one, detail two, and these are all divs, detail three, detail four. And I also have head one, head two, head three, and head four for my headings. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm having the heading one through four fade in, and I change the time. The first one fades in, this is in milliseconds, so one second, three seconds, five seconds, seven seconds. And you can watch that happen if I reload. It should take about seven seconds for them to completely be visible. There you go. 
And then I'm adding an on click function to the head. And I don't have to do this in the HTML. I can do it right here. So I'm using this as my selector with my ID. And then I'm having on click, I'm doing a function right here where I use the slide toggle. And that will make it open or close. Much easier than what we had to do when we were in JavaScript. And I apply that function to each of my divs. Now, this is where the CSS comes in because each of these, if you want them to appear, you have to start them for the H2, the display none. And I have again added the cursor pointer so that everybody knows that these are clickable. That's a very important key to your users. And then I have detail one, detail two, detail three, and detail four are all set up with their background and that, but the most important thing is the display none. Because if you don't have that toggled as not being visible, this won't work correctly. So I'd like you to do something similar where you create your own um, JavaScript and you can use any of the JavaScript events. You do not need to do the slide in, slide out. In fact, I'd prefer that you play with some of the others. So in jQuery, I want you to go through home through events and then play with any of these various effects for this week's assignment.